For this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make these um, chain mail links. They're very simple, easy links to make, but very versatile. You can use them in your pendants, as I've done here. I've used two linked together with the beautiful gemstones, or um, as we're going to learn in the um, the demonstration, how to make these uh, beautiful earrings. And as you can see, the, the links look very pretty. Um, they're almost sandwiched. Uh, jump rings but they look very pretty um, and very versatile so we're going to start off learning how to make those links so I'm going to move away from um, from this piece and move down to the board right okay to get going what we're going to need to do is um, we get we need five open jump rings large jump rings which are in the kit uh, and you can see the jump rings there so we've got five jump rings there. Uh, we're also going to need two um, smaller jump rings uh, to link them in the middle. And you can see the link there in the middle. Now there are two, there are five smaller jump rings in the findings pack in the kit. Um, but we'll talk a bit later about how to make um, some more jump rings from the head pins if you need to. Okay. So to get going, I'm going to start and demonstrate with larger rings, just so that we can get an idea. Of where we're going and then I'll then show you with with the smaller with the, the with the jump rings from the kit okay so we've got five of the large open rings which are uh, in the kit we've got two smaller ones which I've used from the findings pack okay so we're going to take the larger ones and pop on the two small ones I'm going to close that and then we're going to add all well, not all of them. We're going to add four of the uh, large ones to the two smaller ones. So now we have, um, if we open them out, we've got two and two and two. So we've got two large ones, two small ones, and then two large ones again. So that's the basis of the link. Okay, I'm going to pop that down. So now what we need to do is orbit this these two ju uh, jump rings in the middle. So we're going to open another jump ring and we're going to pop that underneath and through the other side. So you're not going through any jump rings, you're literally going around the two smaller ones. And then we're going to close those up. So now we've still got our links as we made them and we've got this loose jump ring just here. Right, so to get everything into place, we're going to pick the top one up from this side, top one up from this side, and bring them together. Give them a little shake, and that's your, that's the base, that's your link. And now you can just add uh, jump rings on either side, or you can add it directly to a gemstone, as we're going to do um, in the demonstration. So that's how you do it with the large jump rings, just so you can see the basis of it. And I'm going to show you, uh, or attempt to show you, how to make them with the um, jump rings from the kit. Okay, so we've got our four um, larger jump rings, and we've got our two smaller ones. Now you can use the, the uh, jump rings from the kit, or you could make some um, some from the um, from the head pins which are in the kit. Uh, and I'll just quickly show you how to make a jump ring just in case you want to do that and make more. Okay, so all we need to do to make some jump rings is take our head pin, pop on, um, pop into some bow making pliers. Now I'm using a six step bow making plier and I'm using the second, um, second size up. And then all we're going to do is roll that around and you keep rolling. So we're, we're bypassing this side and we're continuing that roll. So we're going to continue rolling. So you roll and you can continue all the way down right to the end. Just there. Okay. So now you've got a little coil of jump rings. So to separate them, all we'll need to do, I'm going to cut off that, um, that little end there because it's sticking out. So you want them to be nice and... And then all we're going to do is pop in our pliers as close to this cut edge as we can. And
and that's oh let me do another one you pop that in it's close to the cut edge sorry I'm just trying to work at distance here there you go so that's your um, jump ring just there so if you need more then that that's the way to do it from this kit obviously if you've got them in your stash that that's perfect okay so now I'm going to show you how to do it with, uh, you do it exactly the same. I'm just going to show you um, how to do it with the closed jump rings. So again, we've got a larger jump ring and we're going to pop on two closed smaller jump rings. There we go. So now I'm going to pop on all four of the... Um, the open jump rings so that's one two three sorry let me hold that properly three and just make sure you're only going through the small ones and four okay so now we've got our um, two and two as we had before previously with the larger ones. Now at this stage I'm just going to pop on a little um, section of wire there just so that that holds things in place. Hold those two jump rings together and stop them flipping over. Okay, so I'm just going to open that out a little bit there. And I'm going to pop that down onto the bench. So now we've got our basic shape. But now what we need to do is orbit those two jump rings in the middle, as we did uh, previously with the larger ones. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another open jump ring, and you need to open it quite quite away. Um, and what we're going to do is pass that again as we did before underneath. A little bit more tricky with the um, with the smaller jump rings. So we're going to pop that in there, and it isn't it isn't difficult. It's just a little bit tricky. There we go. So now we've got it orbiting those um, two jump rings in the middle. So I'm just going to close that up slightly before I pick it up, so I don't want it to ping everywhere. There we go. So now you can see we've got that. I'm just going to close that up. So now we've got our two 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 twos on the outside our two in the middle and our orbiting um jump ring okay so i'm going to take that off and now what we're going to do is pick up um the top one on this side pick up the top one on the other side give it a little shake and there there's your there's your link okay so now to, oh excuse me Sorry about that. Right, so now to make the earrings, I'm just going to pop those down onto the bench. There we go. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use a beautiful gemstone. So I've popped that onto a head pin. We're also going to need um, some earring findings, which are in the kit, which I haven't got out, which is so silly of me. Um... Okay, so I'm just quickly going to make a jumper, a uh, uh, shepherd's hook. So what I've done quick, just quickly, is I've just shaped up a shepherd's hook. But you have got shepherd's hooks uh, in the kit, in the findings pack. So use those because they are perfect. Okay, so you'll need a shepherd's hook from your findings pack, the little link you just created, your choice of gemstone, and a head pin. Okay, so now um, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the um, the loop on the shepherd's hook obviously um, yours is from the kit so it'd be slightly different and we're going to pop on our first two loops of the um, of the little connector there okay so now what I wanted to do is I wanted to add a gemstone but I wanted to continue this two wrap into the gemstone as well so rather than just do a wrap loop here which means that the gemstone will hang down further and also you would just have one single uh, wrap there. I wanted two. So to do that, I um, took my head pin, make a link 
a kink in the in the wire so we've got our bend just there okay so now what i've done is i've used my uh, bow making pliers again and i've used the second one in again and i'm going to roll that around as we did when we were making the jump rings i'm going to sit that so that's going to be our link our loop okay and then i'm going to wrap that around and we're going to do a, a double double loop almost like a split ring okay so we're going to continue that around until it go meets on the other side so we've got complete circle on this side and a complete circle on the other okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut that off just at the bottom just there so now i've got a double looped connector there okay so now to attach it obviously this is double now and i don't want to open this and disturb this so we're going to open the jump rings again again a little bit fiddly but um not too bad right so what we're going to do is we're just going to take two pairs of pliers again as we always do with our um jump rings we're going to open that one up i'm going to pop on the gemstone and close that there okay and then i'm going to take the next one and open that leaving that gemstone just um, sort of hanging there we're going to open that and now we're going to pop the gemstone onto to that side and then we're going to close that jump ring give that a little shake let me just move all the pliers out of the way and there's your your earring so you've got that double um double wrap here which is mirrored in this center section um, and I just think it looks very very pretty and it's a really nice easy link to make even if you're not a chain mower so um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, tutorial take care